Here are the most recent deaths in the national news, as reported at Legacy.com the third week of July 2023. Legacy.com is where you can find any obituary or publish an obituary in any newspaper in America and beyond. Professional wrestler Mike Halleck died July 11, 2023, after suffering a back injury at the age of 55. He wrestled for WWE in the 1990s as Mantor, entering the ring wearing a giant bull's head to the sound of snorting and bellowing. Halleck is also being remembered for wrestling under ring names including Tank and Bruiser Mastino. Musician Andre Watts died July 12, 2023 of cancer at the age of 77. He was an internationally famous concert pianist who won a Grammy Award and was honored with the National Medal of Arts by President Barack Obama. Watts is being remembered for his work with Leonard Bernstein and the New York Philharmonic. Scientist Evelyn M. Whitkin died July 8, 2023 in Plainsboro, New Jersey. She died of complications from a fall at the age of 102. She was a geneticist who made groundbreaking discoveries about how DNA repairs itself. Whitkin is being remembered for the role her work played in discovering breakthroughs for cancer treatments. TikTok star Haley Udlozel died July 15, 2023, of ovarian cancer at the age of 30. She documented her cancer fight on TikTok, YouTube, and other social media, with millions watching videos about her family life and her struggle. Adlozel is being remembered as a loving wife and mom who leaves behind a grieving family. Football player C.R. Roberts died July 11, 2023 in Norwalk, California. He died of natural causes at the age of 87. He was a legend of the USC Trojans, who defied segregation laws to play a memorable 1956 game against the University of Texas, bringing home a victory for USC. Roberts is also being remembered for his professional career with the San Francisco 49ers and the CFL's Toronto Argonauts. Bodybuilder Gustavo Bedell died July 13, 2023, at the age of 50. He was a regular competitor at Mr. Olympia, where he came in third place in 2004 and 2005, as well as at other bodybuilding events like the Arnold Schwarzenegger Sports Festival. Bedell is being remembered as the Freakin' Rican, whose posts were popular on social media. A note to remember, sometimes personal information such as someone's cause of death is not announced immediately or publicly at all by their family or the authorities. Every family has a right to their privacy. Mathematician Evelyn Boyd Granville died June 27, 2023 at her home in Silver Spring, Maryland at the age of 99. She worked for NASA in the 1950s and 60s, and her calculations helped ensure safe space flights for such astronauts as John Glenn. Granville is being remembered as the second black woman in the U.S. to receive a Ph.D. in mathematics. Actor Nick Benedict died July 14, 2023, in Arizona. He died of complications from spinal surgery at the age of 77. He played Phil Brent on All My Children in the 1970s, and he received a Daytime Emmy nomination for his performance. Benedict is also being remembered for roles in Days of Our Lives, The Young and the Restless, and other soap operas. Musician Joao Donato died July 17, 2023, in Rio de Janeiro. He died of complications from pneumonia at the age of 88. He was a pianist and composer who played jazz and bossa nova, collaborating with greats like Joao and Estrude Gilberto, Tito Puente, and Chet Baker. Donato is being remembered for his music's influence on the development of bossa nova.
YouTube star Annabelle Ham died July 15, 2023, after experiencing an epileptic event at the age of 22. She was a Georgia college student who shared information about her life and beauty tips with her many social media followers. Ham is being remembered as a bright light who has gone too soon. Actress and singer Jane Birkin died July 16, 2023, in Paris. She died after fighting cancer at the age of 76. She was known for such movies as Death on the Nile and Kaleidoscope, as well as for her hit single Je t'aime, moi non plus. Birkin is also being remembered as a fashion icon and the inspiration for the sought-after Birkin bag. Singer Tony Bennett died July 21, 2023, in New York City at the age of 96. Over a career that ran for more than 70 years starting in the 1950s, he became one of the world's most popular singers, known for hits like Rags to Riches, Chicago, and his signature song, I Left My Heart in San Francisco. He is also being remembered for bringing traditional American pop standards to generations of young listeners, especially with his MTV Unplugged concert and his two albums of duets with Lady Gaga. Bennett was a U.S. Army veteran of World War II. In addition to featuring current deaths in the news, Legacy.com also honors the lives and legacies of notable people who died in the past. Here are some of this week's anniversaries. Six years ago this week, singer Chester Bennington died at the age of 41. He was the lead vocalist for the alternative rock band Linkin Park, known for hits like In the End. Fourteen years ago this week, journalist Walter Cronkite died at the age of 92. He was the award-winning anchor of the CBS Evening News in the 1960s, 70s, and 80s, once considered the most trusted man in America. Twenty years ago this week, singer Celia Cruz died at the age of 77. Singing the music of her homeland, Cuba, she was called the Queen of Salsa. Fifty years ago this week, actor and martial artist Bruce Lee died at the age of 32. His films, including Fist of Fury and Enter the Dragon, helped bring martial arts cinema to audiences worldwide and became beloved classics. Sixty-four years ago this week, singer Billie Holiday died at the age of 44. She was a legend of jazz and swing, known for such songs as Strange Fruit and God Bless the Child. Musician Chris Cornell was born 59 years ago this week. He died in 2017 at the age of 52. The lead singer for Soundgarden and Audio Slave, he was known for hits like Black Hole Sun. Comedian and actor Robin Williams was born 72 years ago this week. He died in 2014 at the age of 63. He won an Academy Award for Goodwill Hunting and was nominated for Good Morning Vietnam, Dead Poets Society, and The Fisher King. Actress Natalie Wood was born 85 years ago this week. She died in 1981 at the age of 43. A child star in Miracle on 34th Street, she grew up to star in such films as Rebel Without a Cause, Splendor in the Grass, and West Side Story. Actress Diana Rigg was born 85 years ago this week. She died in 2020 at the age of 82. She starred as Emma Peel in the 60s TV show The Avengers, and played Olena Tyrell, the Queen of Thorns, in Game of Thrones. Activist and politician Nelson Mandela was born 105 years ago this week. He died in 2013 at the age of 95. He won the Nobel Peace Prize for his lifetime of work toward the abolition of apartheid in his home of South Africa. Every week in the United States, flags are lowered to half-staff to honor the lives of Americans whose communities are mourning their loss. Here are the most recent half-staff memorial flag honors. Flags in Indiana have been lowered to honor the memory of Marion County Sheriff's Deputy John A. Durham, who died in the line of duty. Flags in Pennsylvania have been lowered to honor the memory of Philadelphia Police Officer Lenise Hill. 
flags in Vermont have been lowered to honor the memory of Rutland City Police Officer Jessica Ebbinghausen, who died in the line of duty. Flags in Alaska have been lowered to honor the memory of former legislator Charles Bussell. Flags in North Dakota and Minnesota have been lowered to honor the memory of Minnesota National Guard Sergeant and Fargo Police Officer Jake Wallen, who died in the line of duty. Flags in New Mexico have been lowered to honor the memory of Alamogordo police officer Anthony Ferguson, who died in the line of duty. You can read more about the lives of the people featured in this video on Legacy.com. At Legacy.com, any family can publish an obituary in honor of a loved one's memory online and in local newspapers everywhere. Just visit Legacy.com and select your local community. You can also follow Legacy.com on Facebook and subscribe to our channel on YouTube to stay up to date on national news deaths.